Hi guys, charity shop, gold or garbage? Just one charity shop today, but it was one that had two cars. I think they're both radio controlled. Not sure whether that's radio controlled or infrared, that one. But this one, definitely radio controlled. It says 40 megahertz. Cost me £1.25. And this was Sue Ryder. There's a receipt. There we go. Sue Ryder Care. So £1.25 for that. And we'll find out if it's any good in a minute. £1 for this one. So I say I'm not sure whether that's infrared or radio controlled. So we'll have to have a little look at that. There's no um, megahertz marking on it to indicate it's radio controlled, so I deeply suspect that it's infrared. In which case, chances of getting anything that will interface with it is pretty slim. I never have any luck with infrared. So, let's have a look at this one first. And the first thing we see is nasty corroded batteries. So I'll go and dump them. I do end up with quite a few corroded batteries doing this little project. Don't even want to touch those, they look horrible. Ugh. I'll get a wipe and wipe the inside there because it's a bit sticky and got a bit of um, white powder there. Before I put fresh batteries in I just want to show you something because I've had a couple of queries about this. This is an ordinary rechargeable battery and it's freshly charged. Now on this dear old battery meter it's going about halfway across the good section. I'm not too worried about how many volts it is exactly but that's about halfway across if I put a fresh, ordinary, um, non-rechargeable battery in there, see that shoots, well that's about three quarters of the way across. So you're going to get higher voltage out of a non-rechargeable battery. They'll be at least 1.5 volts, probably a little bit higher when they're fresh. Your rechargeable battery is 1.2 volts. Now, with just one battery, that doesn't make a lot of difference. In this car, you want four batteries, so four times 1.2. Anybody? 4.8. Whereas four times 1.5 is six volts. So I always use rechargeable batteries, so I'm always slightly undercharging or underpowering the cars that I put them in because I'm giving them 4.8 volts whereas if they were non-rechargeable batteries they'd be getting 6 volts so there we are that's already switched on let's wipe that muck in there Right, stick that in. Next thing we want is a transmitter. So, that's my box full of transmitters. So we'll find a 40 megahertz one in there and see if it works. says 40. Oh, looks like that one needs fresh batteries in it. That one 
minus 40. Not a lot happening there. I'll put fresh battery in this one and see if that improves things. happen to have a few of these non-rechargeable ones laying there so we'll try that. Right we're still getting nothing out of the car so it's not looking hopeful. batteries are all right so looks like we've got a non-working 40 megahertz there just in case you're wondering I do know that those transmitters work let's take this fella apart the thing with buying these radio controlled cars from charity shops is they very rarely come with the transmitter so you are taking pot luck as to whether you're going to be able to get it to work I think 50% of the time we're lucky but certainly not every single time Well, after a lot of fussing around there, it does look like it's just the battery contacts that are causing trouble. I've actually put the non-rechargeable batteries in there. Good rub around. So as you can see, we've got LEDs for headlights as well. So we do have a working car. But it does appear that I need to clean out that battery box a bit more. where that's got so corroded we're just having trouble getting the power through so the summary on that one is it does work but the corrosion in the battery compartment has actually upset the contacts so even with fresh batteries it was struggling to work so if I clean those connections up we should be absolutely fine but I have a plan. I intend to replace the batteries with a small LiPo instead, so that will be a different project. Now to have a look at this fella. Oh, we've got pretty lights. But as I say, I suspect it might be infrared. Let's try 40. Nope. Ah, 27. Oh well, nothing to do with that one then. That's the steering. And it works. So it works out straight away with a 27 megahertz transmitter. camera a bit. I think I've seen these for about £9, £10, maybe £11, something like that. So they're not terribly expensive, but it's only cost me a pound and it works but it didn't come with a receiver. 
So gold or, gold or garbage summary, that one's fine. Still garbage if you don't happen to have a, receive, a transmitter to go with it. Did I say receiver just now? I probably did. But yeah, if you don't have a 27 megahertz transmitter to go with it, then it's garbage. But if you happen to have a spare one like I do, then that one's gold, works absolutely fine. This one, likewise, as long as you've got a transmitter to go with it, it's gold, although it does need a bit more attention in the battery box there to clean it out. But as I say, I have a plan for that one. I'm going to replace the batteries with a LiPo. That will be interesting because a LiPo will be either 3.7 volts or 7.4 volts. This has got 4 1.5 volts, so that's expecting 6 volts. So I either underpower it with 3.7 volts or overpower it with 7.4 volts. And I think we can guess which way we're probably going to go there. We'll try 7.4 volts. I've cleaned those battery terminals now. So it works absolutely fine now that I've cleaned the battery terminals.